Hi, this is Mel. So we're back again. Hey, so in this video, I want to show you how to put one of these uh, cool little buttons inside your video that uh, when clicked, it can redirect to another page or a landing site, a landing page or another website or, and so on. So in one of my videos, you may have seen this button. So in the middle, there's this little button that comes up where you, when you click it, it then navigates over to another web page. So this can, you know, navigation to another web page can be the, let's say, the second series, in which case this was a second series in a course uh, or in a two-part series. Or it can also easily be something that you navigate your users to that takes them to a, another landing page, your contact information page, a buy button. Basically, the possibilities are endless, limited only by your imagination. In, in essence, if it's a destination with a URL, it can work. So I want to show you how to embed one of those using the client version of a, your EVP subscription. Or if you choose to, certainly with uh, you know, if you choose to purchase your own copy, uh, certainly that's available to you as well, along with a lot more functionality. So, but I want to show you how to do that. So let's take a look at. Uh, let's go back into our test account here, and let's take a look at one of the files that we've already uploaded on previous lesson. And we'll click that folder name, and then that populates the different the, the two test videos that we've already populated in there so let's take a look at this marketing intro and that's what the one we're gonna put the button into and so this is the preview page and certainly you know as you can see I didn't put a splash image there but that's you learned from an earlier video that you can you can put a little uh, starting image called the splash image uh, right at the beginning so we're gonna go ahead into the edit settings menu I know I said menu, I meant edit, edit settings window. And it's in this window, we're already familiar with a lot of these things. If we scroll down, um, we talked about this area in a previous video. And the area that we're going to be looking into here is this additional features. So one of the, there's, as you can see, there are many additional features here. And uh, one of the ones I want to talk to you about is the image overlays. And that's what we're going to be talking about here. But it's very similar to this overlays. Let me just show you that really quick. Basically, if you click overlays, this allows you, and you click this yes switch here, this basically allows you to be able to type in uh, link text in here. And just like any other uh, HTML type document, you can highlight that. And here's a little URL button where you can then populate a URL that it can navigate to. And as you can see, this can also be an email address uh, if you want people to contact you and so on. All right. My preference actually, I mean, certainly you can use this, but my preference is actually to use image overlays. It does the same functionality, but with a lot cleaner interaction, I think, instead of just simple text. Now, there may be some quick uh, applications that you can have that you might th think of for putting text with hyperlinks and certainly that's uh, your option. My preference is actually use uh, image overlays. So in this particular case what we've done is click image overlays, activated the yes checkbox and you saw this whole area populate down in here. So uh, what we're going to do here is def you can define this on pause or you know so when your user pauses the video then it brings up your button uh, or on a particular cue point so that means at a certain time code in the video it'll just automatically come up at that time code designated by minutes and seconds over here but also in terms of duration it's important to keep in mind this is duration not ending time code okay so you're going to specify starting time code and then a duration of minutes or seconds that you want that button or whatever image uh, to pop up this button over here basically says that if you click it, it will then start at this time and then go towards, as it says, until the video ends. All right? Easy enough. So what I'm going to do is choose a file. And so here's that next button. We'll go ahead and highlight that in there. And then basically we're just going to enter a URL in here. And so I'm going to go to my front page of my website. And let's say I want them to navigate to my, uh, my uh, free downloads template, let's say okay or my sign up form or my about page it can be any page that you really want so we'll copy that link address and then we'll go back over here and we'll paste that into the URL section over here you just designate where you want that to show up so in this case I'll say in the center right smack dab in the middle of the video and uh, I want it to pop up at a certain time code now here you'll have to have some idea about how long your video is and about where it is that you're talking uh, and it, it, that it would make sense for to pop up that particular image so let's say we want it to appear at the 2 minute and 25 second mark of my video and I want it to appear uh, either for 10 seconds or in this case I'm going to say until the end of the video so we just click that and that's basically all there is to it and if you want to do another one you can simply add another and then put another image in there for a different time code maybe even a different position 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and X out of that actually, because I think this will suffice for our purposes of demonstration. Come down here to the bottom, save, and let's take a look at that. So now we're in the preview window, and we said that it would probably show up at the 2 minute and 25 second point. Hey, it's Mel. So in this video, I want to tell you about how to optimize the screencast and... I'm going to mute myself here, but you can see over here that it's a 2 minute and 35 second long video. Let's go ahead and fast forward to about the 225 mark, maybe just a little bit before that, say 220. So let's click there and see, and see if it pops up. And there we go. So it comes up at the 2 minute and 25 second right when we said it would, and it would play until the end of the video. So let me go ahead and pause this, and then when you click it, let's see if it actually navigates us to my sign up form page that I designated. And there we go. All right, so that's about it uh, for this particular tutorial. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to put one of these little buttons in there. And again, it can go to, it can be a button that goes to a buy now, a shopping cart. Really, again, the uh, possibilities are endless, limited only by your imagination uh, on how you could use this in your own business, educational, or marketing efforts. Um, and uh, uh, makes it very easy inside this player. All right, that's about it for now. I will uh, tune in again next time. Take care.